So the focus is on always lowering cost and providing <laughs> leadership. And, and this company, we're doing a million and a half cars a year, but you expect to do 20. Uh, and, and so what happens uh, in 10 years if you're not there? What happens in five years if you're not there? How's that work? I mean, are there all these people? So at all the engineering schools, the top engineering schools, the top choice of where everybody wants to work is Tesla or SpaceX, yeah. those two places. So do, do we have all these people coming up and fighting each other for the job or they're working together? How do you get people to say, gee, I could buy that real expensive house, but I'm not gonna do that. Boy, I could buy, I could go out on vacation, I'm not gonna. I was, I'm well, we do have that problem a little bit. Um, so, you know, as a company um, has prosperity um, and then people become uh, wealthy, uh, then for a lot of people, you know, that, that once they become pass, sort of independently wealthy, they, they just can't bring themselves to work or just, they don't want to work. And that's totally, you know, understandable and no judgment. Um, and, and so, I mean, I have a lot of friends who, um, who, who are extremely talented uh, and they, they, you know, had some success uh, earlier in life and they just decided, you know, that was enough trauma. Um, I mean... <laughs> You know, one of my, my good friend of mine saying, like, for, for start, starting a company is like eating glass and staring into the abyss. <laughs> <laughs> so, so my people say, tell me, like, well, what can you do to encourage entrepreneurs to start companies? I'm like, if you need encouragement, don't start a company. <laughs> <laughs>